I'm gonna show you how to make the fluffiest omelet you've ever tasted. To start, you're gonna take two large eggs. This omelet is for one person. Right out. Throw it off so you have no idea where that just went. I promise it didn't go, just on the kitchen floor. Um, okay, so cracking. Two large eggs. And then I'm gonna pop out for one second to grab did you hear that? It was a splash of water. You just need a little splash. And I know that you probably are used to putting milk, but I promise the water is the like little secret. It's about, for these two eggs, just over about a teaspoon, two teaspoons. I'm just gonna whisk this up, add a nice pinch of salt to add, bring out all the flavor of the egg. Both of my kids, from the time that they were little babies, um, they would love omelet. Just cut it into pieces. They could, it's one of the first foods that they could pick up on their own. Um, and it's just great because you know little kids can have this, adults can have it. Put it into a sandwich. Okay, you would all make sure the most important thing when you're beating these eggs is that the white and the yellow are totally combined. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of butter. You could also use olive oil but I find that butter just tastes better in an omelet. Okay, just whisk that around, coat, just lightly coat the bottom of your pan. And honestly, I've used all kinds of pans, nonstick, iron, cast iron. Um, as long as the bottom of your pan is nice and coated, you really can use a six inch pan, a nine inch pan, a little bit larger. This is actually a crepe pan. Okay, just pour that right in over like medium heat. You don't, you want it to, to cook not too fast. So just let it set for just a second. And then I'm just gonna use the spa my spatula. I really love this spatula. It's a nice silicone spatula. Pull the sides away, just gently, and keep putting that liquidy, eggy part around. And what this will do is just help it to cook totally even. Not too fast, not too slow. Okay. So this is a perfect thing to do in the morning. I know when you're busy, but you still need a good protein fix for yourself, for your kids. It's really nice and easy and healthy. You could also do this with just straight egg whites, but you know, you need a little bit more iron from the egg yolks. See how I'm just to keep that going until it's all set. Then what I like to do is take some nice cheddar cheese. You could also use Colby or Monterey Jack or anything that you want. Mozzarella, but both of my kids are pretty much cheddar cheese is the way to go. Put about mm, two tablespoons. I like this nice, fine grater. Just makes the cheese melt right into the omelet. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And then by that point, the omelet is already setting up. So you're just gonna use the spatula, make sure that the edges are totally pulling away. That's really important or the, uh, the omelet will break. And this point, you can do one of two things. You can use the spatula or you can use rubber spatula or you can use this kind of spatula. I'm gonna try and see if I can do it with just this and just gently flip it right over. See how easy that is? It's this gorgeous half moon omelet. I'm just gonna let that set up and turn up my heat just a little bit more. Let it set up for about another minute. When I'm feeling like I wanna make it even like stack thicker, like egg cheese, egg cheese, egg cheese. I'll use a size pan that's large like this and I'll flip it over again, just like that. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous whoop, omelet. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Weelicious.com. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. How to make the first one.